What's up, Rudy? Welcome back to the post-game content of the Galar region. We're gonna see what happens. So to, to start off, you go to Moto Stoke City, which is like the first large city you go to. It's a, like an industrial area. And if you go down through a little, I'll show you how to get here in a minute, but uh, you have to go to this guy and he says, he said, come back when you're the champion. So, eek, champion. Do you want to teach your Pokemon the marvelous move Steel Beam? That is a new move? Why would I have to be a champion for this? Alright, I'll teach it to Levin though, he's a Steel Tub. No reason not to. Except that it is probably a, you know... Uh, yeah, it's a special attack move, but that's hella strong though. Jesus Christ. Uh, instead of Power Trip, probably, Power Trip is one of the worst moves I have, so... Uh, yeah, we're getting rid of that, that one. Alright, let's see. Still being an incredible power move, but the user will take damage too. Really? Why? Why is this a thing? I thought there was gonna be some amazing stuff here you could do, like some secret stuff. I don't know, that's kind of a disappointment, because... It's like you have to be a champion for this. Why? Why didn't they just let me be able to teach this officer some sort of gym or something? But yeah, um, so yeah, you go here. So there's like the Badoo Inn. And you go down here into that little ring thing and you'll, you get down there. Um, but there was another NPC you could talk to. And Firekiller knows it's as well. It's because I'm streaming this on Twitch, by the way, so you want to be in a stream because it's switch tv slash it's bear tv you'll be able to see if i'm live or not make sure to have notifications on and all that um but yeah let's see where else we can go there um there is this thing in holbury that i'm pretty curious about to see if we can find something here there's also a mincino we still need to catch from moda stoke but i don't know where that would be they that person kept saying something about water which makes sense if it's Holbury, but it wasn't. Um, See, so yeah, the lighthouse is still something that's pretty mysterious to me. It's just there, and there's a statue of Pokemon that saved it, which is definitely toxi toxicity. I hope that's how you pronounce it, because if not, then I would have said something something wrong the whole time. Uh, yeah, we need to have we need to whistle to find Minchino around there. Um, if he is even here. Maybe near the lighthouse. Maybe that's what the light... Whoa! Look at them! They're here. Alright. So there is something you could do here. So what What about this? The Pokemon Band the Maximizers is amazing live. Want to watch? I guess so. I, I do. Sure. It's something new, so... They can actually get pretty into it, so the performance might run pretty long. So, want to watch our concert? Alright, if this is long, I'll cut it out of the video, but for the stream, I can't say the same. Let's watch this. Oh, I think I skipped this. This is just a, the credit sequence again. Are you kidding me? No! No! Alright, he even warned me. Alright, well, I can't really... You're Max and Max, right? Maximizers are wickets. Yeah, no, they're absolutely awful. And I don't think they deserve... Alright, the Pokemon that saved the light as Well, they're here now. Well, that was a scam and a half. Um, let's see if a whistle would bring... I mean, Shino around. It doesn't... I'm so upset that there are so little legendaries to catch. What am I supposed to do in a post-game? You can't even go to, like, Kalos. I know they were, like, short for time, but at least have something. Alright, well, I guess for the post-game, this is gonna be a short video then. Let's see where the train can take us. Hell, let's do it. Which station would you like to go? Where is Wedgehurst? Oh, I'm so... ...conjecture about this. <laughs> uh, apparently I need to get to Modestoke. Says fire killer. I know why you wouldn't want me to go there, but in reality, the thing I really want to do is go to the slumbering wield weld. Uh, it's kind of 
I want to say it brings me nostalgia, but it's not nostalgia because it happened last week. But, you know, the first Riot team song and everything when I just started the journey. I, I usually play Pokemon for the post game because the post games used to be so amazing. And now there's nothing. All right, now let's see if we can get to that little secretive area where you probably, I mean, probably won't be able to find the legendaries here. Oh, Hop is here though, so that's good. Okay, this is a place you should go to. Huh, Jari, what are you doing in these woods? What about you? Nobody ever comes here since they're the forest where Zashin and Semizenta rested. It's the best place to do a bit of thinking since it's so quiet and all. You say you felt something was calling you here, huh, Jari? That's... Mate, that's pretty uncanny. Oh, but I hadn't had the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Jari. Honestly, Jari, I never thought you'd manage to beat my old, my brother. The greatest champion Galar ever had. He was undefeatable until you came around. To, until you came around. Actually, pretty hard to believe still. Really, you're amazing, Jari. Why, thank you. So amazing. Maybe I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. Yari, do you think you'd be up for one more battle? Why? Because I want to feel for myself with the strength that defeated my brother's greatest champion. Uh, come on, Jari. Oh, God, I don't... I think he might be <laughs> very overpowered now for no reason. Which might actually be fun. Let's go. Let's do it. This is going to be an issue, isn't it? Alright, Hop. Final battle. Once a loser, I'll say always a loser. In before level 80. Oh, I'm raising myself for the level. No, that's fine. We'll be able to take him down. It's hard shot. Let's go. Cotton Guard. All right, well, I hope Hop feels a little bit less bad about himself after I defeated his brother. All right, let's go. Barely did anything. It was super effective, however. Eat crash, let's go. Oh, I'm still not faster. Fine, it's whatever. All right, here we go. That's a trick. Game type another. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Fine. I just have to raise my speed until it's above his, and then I'm fine. Because of Tar Shot. Thank you, Tar Shot. Uh, did that do the trick? Yes. All right, we're faster. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa! Critical hit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jesus. Double down. Now, what's next? Snorlax. Um, I mean, Daimone might be the best shot I have at that. Because of the fighting type move. Even though it's not like the best fighting type move, but... I'll do the trick. Um, let's go. It's revenge. I do. Oh, he's faster. No way. He uses heavy slam. That's rough. Oh my. All right. Well, let's hope revenge will do some serious damage now. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, proper job. Hop. Hop. We'll restore. Let's go. My god, are you kidding me? Critical hit, too? Fuck you, Snorlax. At least he's gone, too. 
Living Lloyd leveled up too. Nice. I didn't see. Oh, uh, I don't know who's gonna send out. So game type. State to yours, my guy. Corviknight, perfect. That's what we like to see. Can never see berries. I don't really want to eat berries anyway. Let's first get a little faster than him. See how his defense is too. Not too shabby. Steel type, so it probably weighs a crap ton, but we're good. Steel wing, we're fine. Eat crush, boom. Cremorans? Uh, that sounds like a water type, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that first word means, um, fire killer. <laughs> I'm talking to Twitch chat right now if you're watching this as a video, but yeah. It's talking in Dutch, which I know. But that first word looks very not Dutch. Alright, Frick, we have to. Alright, fine. Here we go. I'll be able to take him out, but he will damage me afterwards. Oh, that's street language, what he was saying. Alright, it's fine. Ow. Spat a fish at me? How dare you? Alright. Cinderies. Alright, that's time for add up. I don't know, if this was, if this had proper post-game content, or if this has, I might be wrong, maybe I just haven't looked into it enough. But if there's more proper post-game content, then these might be the best games I've, I've played, Pokemon games. If not, then I don't think they are. They're good still, they're really solid entries, but... And the journey was really fun, but just because of the post-game thing, I think it might not be the best ones I've played. Uh, Pinchu. Oh, yes, this thing. What is it again? Hydro Cannon might take it out. Frick me. Yeah, I figured I was gonna do a lot of damage. Still, though. Yeah, there we go. Adap looks very posh. Still a cool Pokemon. Here we go, we took him out again. He's ticked about it. I didn't expect to be there. There's such a gap between you and me, mate. I'm the champion after all, Hob. No reason to get mad. So there's... So... There's really... There really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean... Even beat my unbeatable brother. So, if it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what all the noise was about. And if it isn't Sonya. Yari, congratulations on beating Leon. It was nothing. <laughs> oh, trying to act modest, are you? Go on, you've earned the right to be proud. So, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Hop, I'm actually not working as my grand's assistant any longer. In fact, I'm the professor now. Y you are? And really, I've got the two of you to thank for that. I was just along the ride for on your adventure and I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Galar region. And came to care for... Pokemon even more than I ever had before. Ah, here. It's a book I wrote. I even signed it. 
That makes it a collector's item. Copy of Sonya's boot. Discoveries in the Galar Legend. Alright, cool. It's enjoyable read. I've already got my own copy. Lined up and bought it to buy it the day it came out. Oh, thanks, Hop. That's so sweet. I'll sign your copy uh, for you later. Anyway, I've got my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own name. I think you can expect great thanks of the lovely Professor Sonia in the future, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I expect so. Sonia and Jari, you both amaze me. I've got to live up to live up to here. I've got a lot to live up to here. Oh, sorry. So, what are you young ones doing here? Uh, oh, right. Oh, that's it, isn't it? You're putting the rusted sword and rusted shield back in their place. Can't just keep holding them forever, right? We, we were. Yeah, that's what we were doing. We were just about to do that. You forgot entirely, didn't you? What, you think the two of you were besties now with Zasha and Zemazenta or something? That must be it, Jari. Why you felt like you were called here? Let's put the sword and shield back and say proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, we'll see Zashin and Zamazenta again someday. Hmm. Right. So just what you have to do probably beforehand. Before you actually catch him. Zashin, Zamazenta, thanks for the load for helping us out. Took us a little while and we'll be brought back your precious relics and all. Cool. Alright. That about settles that. Jari, don't you think... What? Uh... What are you gonna do, Sonya? I think I'll stay a bit longer. I want to do a little more research here in the forest. Hmm, my power spot detector's going off. Well, well, well. I thought I heard someone making some noise over this way. Alright, post-game content boards. What the fuck are they? Well, well, well. You wouldn't be Professor Sonia who wrote the book of lore, a history. Uh, uh, hello? You bought my book? Why, yeah, of course. Read it from cover to cover. Why, yes, of course. I even wrote an internet review of it. That awful book was filled with lies. So we gave it one star. What? There are no lies printed in that book. That's just plain rude. I am Swordwart. And I'm Shieldbert. And we are the new kings of Galar. We're descendants from the first kings. More than that, we're celebrities. New kings? Descendants? Seriously, what are you on about? This is very weird. What exactly are you two supposed to be? Why are their hair shaped like a sword? That's so dumb. Well, well, well. Could these things be the fabled sword and shield? Well, well, well. They certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. <laughs> Alright. Just... Get a little sound going. Hey, don't go nicking those. We just returned them. Oh, shut up. We only happen to pick up the things that were dropped on the ground. If you've got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong, hmm? But there's, but there's no way anyone can prove to who those ancient things belong to. Even if we can prove it, they, they're really important to us, John and Zamazenta. Oh goodness, such a plebeian. And yet, so pushy. 
if it's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this in a battle? We're celebrities who buy both who buy battles for twice that they're worth. What does that even mean? I, the magnificent so sword words, am your opponents. Alright, let's battle this clown. Who who does their hair like that? I know it's so <laughs> resemble a sword, but it's so dumb. Alright, let's destroy this fuckhead. Ah, <sighs> sir fetched. What do I even do against a sir fetched? We're using tar shot. Is that an electric move? Oh, I didn't even heal up my fucking Pokemon. That's fine. It's whatever. Uh, Levin Loy, you're my man right now. I might have to pull up some, uh... Some stuff in a minute. Some extra vibes and all that. Alright, Brave Bird, let's go. You're my move. That's a 1k. That's what I'm looking for. These clowns have nothing on me. They're gonna steal the items anyway, aren't they? Bye, Sharp. I just lost my fire Pokemon. Bye, Sharp. Bar Sharp is also dark type, so that means. I have nothing on him. Alright, let's see. Steel. Isn't ground good against steel? Fighting and ground. Yeah, okay. So Laos is our best bet. Alright, if I get Laos at, that should be some proper damage. A little earthquake. Oh, why did I press rock slide? I messed up, guys. Uh, no! That's my mistake. I could have beat him if I just pressed the right move. Yet, I decided to not press the right move. He avoided it anyway, it's fine. Um, guess it's time to max revive on game side. Sure. Ooh, that's rough. Thought Lois was gonna be some help here, but nope. Alright, game side maybe. Why didn't Oh frick me. Just threw my joy phone at my microphone. That was a bad idea. Um need crash. I'm I should be still a lot tougher than him heavier I just meant I meant to say but yeah hop always heals up your Pokemon and then this one time that you need it he doesn't freaking wandering spear you joke all right flame charge let's go stone edge it's super effective for whatever reason fine why sharp down speed rose and risen rose Let's fucking go. Let's take these dudes out. Glissopod. Bug type. Bug water type, if I'm correct. So, a leaf with an overdrive should be able to take care of this crap. Okay. Gonna prop properly sit. Alright, Glissopod. Uh, overdrive, let's go. Hopefully one KO. That dude looks tanky. He isn't, though. Epic. Took him out. One go. Alright, uh, Sword. What was his name again? Sword. Swordwort. Swordwort. Double bl du blade. The blade is a steel ghost type. Uh, meaning... I either needed Lowe's or Game Type, and I still have Game Type, so Game Type should be fine. Hmm. 
What's not faffling about? I suppose it's time to get serious. You blade. How's that being serious? Right, a heat crash should do the trick. Um, Fire Killer is suggesting I also have Live and Loy for Dark Side, but uh, in fact, I do not. I taught him a Steel type move. I got rid of the only Dark type move I have. Well, technically, I have another Dark type move, but that move is um, Hone Claws, which only raises my stat. It doesn't. It, it isn't actually like a attack move. Here we go. Taken down, Swordward. Huh. How can this be? My, my Pokemon. 16k. Taken down. The <laughs> bows. You took back the rusted sword. <laughs> to somehow have defeated the adorable Pokemon, I. Uh, you're certainly strong. However, it appears that my younger brother was victorious. I'm sorry, Jari. I lost to him. Whoa! Something on your mind, boy. You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Ugh. Older brother. Isn't that the only... Isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Oh! No. Now that I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child snatching up our chance at glory like that. According to our sources, I believe he was also present during the destruction of the magnificent mural our ancestors had so artfully created. What a garish brute. Destroying the mural. Our fam... Our family was held in such high esteem for so long. Uh, mural? You mean that, that one that hit the historical ruins of Sashan and the others? And hold on a moment. Jari wasn't the one who destroyed it. Let us withdraw for now. Next time, we shall bring Pokemon that will utterly defeat you. That's right. And with that, farewell. Wait, wait, stop. Give me back that rusted shield. Hold on, Hop. Uh, that kid. He's gone completely... He, he's gone and recklessly run off. At least you're calm, Jari. I expected as much. I'm surprised Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe that had something... That had something to do with it? His own rifle became the new champion, and his goal vanished before his eyes. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Anyway, Sorbet and Shieldbird, was it? I think I might know something about where those two weir weirdos went. Shall we go over it in a lab in Wedgehurst? I'm worried about Hop. I, I get it. You feel responsible for him and want him to help uh, help him as soon as you can, right? Okay, we'll meet up later then. I back to the lab. Frick! I should have... Uh, well, at least I spawn here. We're fine. Uh, I want to go to the Poké Center first. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Wait, is Hop back at his house? Because if so, I should probably go there first. Let's check. See if he's chilling out there. Is he in his room? He's not. Where's Hop? Well, I mean, what's the? All right. Well, then what's the point? Why didn't she just take me with her then? Alright, healing up. 
My first Galar team. Look at them. Proper champions. Alright, moving on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, right, we're supposed to go a little over to the right over here to the lab. Let's see if Magnolia's around too. Oh, here we are. Mm hmm. Professor Sonia, you have an you have a visitor. Jari, I'm glad you're here. You got an assistant? Spot on. I've been busy with research, so I decided to bring in some extra help. I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose has been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me keep things afloat. I really haven't been doing that at all. You're Jari, the champion, right? I'm really glad I get to meet you. It's a true... It's an honor, truly. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want you to have a look at. Alright, let's, let's look at it. Sure. I'm hyped. Remember my power spot, power spot detector, right? It detects places where dynamaxing is possible. Basically, when there's a high concentration of galar particles, the reading spike. And that's how I figured it out. Power spot detector reacted when those two got close. So what does that mean? Basically, following follow the readings of the power spot detector, and you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. Dot dot dot. Sword bird, sword bird and shield bird. Uh, might claim to be royalty, but they're weird f with their weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? Well, let's get back on topic, though. I place power spot detectors all around Galar, and now it's time to shine. Power spot detectors access! Oh, there's one. Can't fly there yet. Uh... What do I do? Toggle weather? Next destination. Oh. Alright. Whoa, whoa! That's a way bigger reaction than I would have thought. It's like it's coming from Turfield Stadium. You could always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, so... It's not exactly unusual. But these readings are way higher than normal. It can be Eternatus, you already caught it. Maybe it's something related to those sword and shield weirdos? You should go check it out, Jari, since you're the snazzy new champion and all. I've set up a town map to show where the strong particle readings are coming from, so have a look at it. Ooh. Okay, very cool. So now we follow the sh sword and shield weirdos. I healed up the poke, so that's no issue at all. Daimone needs probably the most levels. Um, all right, let's fly on the wings of freedom. Head to Turfield Stadium. That's our next destination. So we can fly there. Let's go. Yay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I love this sound. There's this sound track what I'm trying to say dun, 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 dun. oh it's Pearson and boys hmm you're hello there champion so you came sorry I gave him such a weird voice I just don't remember what his voice is it's been a while huh <laughs> I carefree can you be 
You're the new champion. You're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. Uh, I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with Pierce. Then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. Mm, the audience and staff already took shelter. Oh, I got a, like, Dynamax fight here. I got everyone who was seated on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard, right? More Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Much obliged, Hop. Much obliged, Hop. I'd expect nothing less from a gym challenger. I knew you. I could. We could count on you. Uh, I lost in the semi in the semi-finals, though. Ah, Jari. I chased those red and blue guys. We saw them head into Turfield Stadium. Then I heard an uproar, and there was no way I could leave it alone. I had to help out. So, uh, sorry. I actually lost sight of him in all the rush. Hmm, those suspicious characters you saw are, are concerning. For now, I think we should ha get the Dynamax Pokemon to settle down first. I'd be glad if you could help against such a tough looking opponent, Champion Yari. Uh, of course. Alright, let's head into the pitch. Yeah, I'll lend a hand too. I don't blame the Pokemon, of course, uh, but I'm just a bit miffled they upstage me. You come to bro of the old champion. Uh, I don't know how much I can help, really help. If I came along, I just might en end up slowing the rest of you down. Uh, I don't really know the guy, but I don't think Leon be... Oh, I don't think Leon be all lost about this. Though, he does get... Though, he does get actually lost a lot. You coming? Uh, ah, uh, okay. Pierce might, might look scary, but he's great at looking after others. He's a bigger brother, after all. A big brother, after all. All right, we should get going too. I really apologize for that Milo voice. I don't know what voice to give him. All right, now let's see what's going on. All right, so this is the post game, just battling Dynamax Pokemon. Serena, Demoni. All right. Fucking go, boys! Don't really have anything special to attack them with. Pyroball! Nice! That's a special move, I never knew. Throw chop. Max Starfall! Ooh. Poor Milo. Battlefield changed. I guess we know what what special things to do here now. Spirit Break! That did quite a bit of damage. This Zarina Dynamax Pokemon is quite weak. Uh, game time, go! Is Hop gonna Gigantamax? He is gonna Gigantamax. Have I seen this? Uh, maybe it's just a Dynamax. I, I can't tell. Uh oh. I mean, good for him. He's a fire type, so. Yeah. I, I agree. With his decision. Plus, Hop could use some shine. That's it, boys. We took her down. Alright, Zarina is back to her normal. Magoo used to revive Zarina. Phew, looks like things finally calmed down a bit. 
this Dynamax stuff. No matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. I can see that your dislike of Dynamax and still hasn't changed, Pierce. But there's definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. There wasn't any trainer anywhere. The Pokemon seemed to like... Seemed like it couldn't even control the power itself. Quite right. Normally, a, a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax band in order to Dynamax, but... Seeing there was some discord in the harmony between trainers and Pokemon. Did you feel anything unusual, Jari? Uh, I guess I did. Not really, but... So you noticed something was off, too. There's no trainer to be found. This really is a mystery wrapped in an enigma. I'll make sure Tur Turfield Jim takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. It really helped me out a lot here. Thanks for that. Oh, and Jari. Uh, if you ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. A rare League card. Ooh. Ooh. -woo. All right, follow me, Serena. Serena. Well, well, well. Looks like that Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. Well, well, well. The champion has expected. Exclamation marks. Ah, it's you two. I knew you'd be here. Give the rest a shield back. Well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you either. Even if it were yours, we wouldn't give it back. What's with you two? Ah! Get over here so I can battle you. Who are these guys? Spectators and staff should be, should have been evacuated. The normal rules simply just don't apply to us. Yes, that's what it means to be celebrities. What? So who is this ruffian to question us? You're just someone with a strange taste in hairstyles. Says them. His entire style is completely black and white nonsense, isn't it, older brother? You think I'd put any of uh, I'd put any faith in words from rude little punks like you? But it seems our experiment was a success, brother. Quite, quite. Next time, let us try to Dynamax an even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes. At last, we shall reveal the true nature of Zashion and Zamazenta. Oh, I guess there is a post game. What was that about Zashion and Zamazenta? You. Despicable champion. We're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild. If you want to stop us, you do best you do your best to chase after our splendid looking bottoms. More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell. So you were the ones who caused all this. Stop! Calm down up. You don't gotta act so hard. But they're getting away. Yeah, and they'd be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run unprepared. But still. Ah, fine. You're right. I get it. Good. Let's all calm down for a second. Thanks to them running their mouths, we know their goal is to force Pokemon to Dynamax. And they plan to continue doing it. Uh, I won't allow it. Yeah! There's no time to be hung up on getting back the rusted shield. Jory, Pierce, we gotta stop these two. It's true. It's true. So now, on my map, it will display the second encounter. But that's gonna do it for today's episode, though. Um, it's... I thought the post game was not going to be this long. I thought I was just going to be able to catch Z Zashan and that's about it. Um, but it looks like there's actually like some little story thing 
And I'm uh, pleasantly surprised about that. So guys, thank you so much for watching this. And there's more post-game content coming soon. Um, we, we're gonna take down these clowns and do our best to, you know, see what we can see. See if there's any special thing in the, uh, in, in the post-game. Let me save first. Boom, thank you for the reminder, Fire Killer. Uh, thank you for being in the stream, Fire Killer. If you want to be in the stream, go to twitch.tv slash it's bear TV, follow and make sure to, you know, have notifications on to see if I'm live uh, and all that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Check out the next episode if it's out already. Make sure to subscribe. And apparently this wasn't it for the post uh, for, for Pokemon Sword. So yeah, if you want to see more post-game content, I hope to see you in the next one. See you guys later. Bye-bye.